Hello. <coughs> All right. Welcome to another episode of Kelly's Corner. Thank you so much um, for watching. I got a great response last time, and I even got a few comments, so I was really happy. Um, so we've got our. This is Stonehenge paper. Um, it's actually a new paper that I've been trying out lately, and I really, really, really like it. Um, this is the 140 Cold Press, and as you can see, I've got a little sketch behind. Um, and today on Kelly's Corner, we're going to be doing some watercoloring. And uh, to be honest, I'm just using these... Oh, crap, can you see that? I got these colors that were just kind of like... Uh, left over so we're gonna use those and just kind of wing it and have fun with this little um, cute watery landscape so this brush is the number four um, Number four, Rosemary & Co. Sable Brush, Series 33. Um, I put a band-aid on it, because uh, otherwise it... Focus. Because otherwise it hurts my finger. Um, the watercolors are Cotman, by the way. Okay. And today on Kelly's Corner, we're going to talk about Sailor Moon. But I'm going to intersperse it with um, just little um, ramblings about my process or what I'm doing, if it's something that I feel I need to interject. So, um, I don't know, obviously you've noticed that I don't like painting straight to the edge, so if I want to make... Um, I, I kind of try to make it fade out around the edge, so what I'm going to do is just take some water on my brush and just do just kind of where I want the paint to fade off. Now the brush isn't sopping wet, it's not soaked, but it is wet. Um, okay. I have no idea, no earthly idea how this is going to turn out. Um, but let's just have fun and see what happens. I don't usually um, experiment with colors and I really need to do that more. I'm very much like, um, like I paint the tree trunk brown and the leaves green and uh, it's kind of boring. So I've dipped in, into my watercolors. This this color, this bluish green color that I'm using for these rocks is not going to be the color that it's going to turn out. I just kind of wanted to make a color to use as like the moonlight gleaming off the rocks. So we're going to come back in and add lots more um, shading and browns and purples and so on. So, Sailor Moon. Um, I am going to talk about the 90s dub, because that's the only one that I have experience with. Um, I didn't watch the whole series in Japanese, um, because I never had access to it when I was a kid, and I couldn't be bothered like sitting down and watching the whole thing as an adult. I mean, maybe I will one day, but like, uh, I know the Japanese version is superior, but... Um, you know, the dub still has a place in my heart, for sure. I remember it would come on after school, and I would, like, race home when I was a kid to, to see Sailor Moon. And also, like, me and my little friends would play Sailor Moon, and... Sailor Moon, why am I saying that? Um, even in daycare. Daycare. I remember playing Sailor Moon in daycare. So that means I was, like, what, five or six. So, obviously... 
in a long time. Now this is like, do you see this overlap happening? So I'm just going to dab a bit. Um, this is interesting because like, how blue is this going to be? I hope the paper doesn't buckle too much. Uh, yeah, where was I? So I used to play Sailor Moon with my buddies in daycare and in school um, when we were young enough to use our imaginations. And even though Sailor Jupiter was my favorite Sailor Scout, I always was friggin' Serena or the cat because <laughs> I just couldn't own up to Sailor Jupiter. I didn't have the I didn't have the the charisma, the toughness. I was more of a couch potato like Serena. The nineties dub was so hilarious and so special. Even though it like censored stuff and changed a lot of important stuff. Oh my gosh. Like Molly, remember Molly and she had like that accent and it was like <laughs> it was like there's a cafe downtown and they sell delicious chocolate parfaits. She was like flirting with um Nephilite. <laughs> Maxfield <laughs> and his name was Maxfield Stanton. <laughs> Uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, and I were like reminiscing about <laughs> Sailor Moon, and he was like Maxfield, <laughs> and I just fucking lost it. Maxfield, oh my god, who has a name like that? <laughs> Maxfield. If I ruin this, by the way, I'm just gonna go straight back to inking. So. Oh my gosh, what if the background was all black? Ooh, that's interesting. Megaverse was always after, like, energy. I don't know too much about the actual Japanese version. I'm sure it was more, like, realistic and sinister. Like, they were probably trying to kill people at lots of times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember the, like, in the Japanese version, like, the Sailor Scouts, like, literally all die in, like, that one episode where they're in the Antarctic or whatever? <laughs> And in the, oh, I forget what happened in the English version, but they were just like sent to some zone to like wait for Sailor Moon. <laughs> and it totally like traumatized me when I saw like the actual version and they all died. But in the English version, it was like Sailor Mercury got baked or got attacked and then she was like, I'll be with Lita, take care. <laughs> like, uh, and then Sailor Moon was all alone. Oh my god, remember Sailor Moon? <laughs> she was in the Negaverse, and. Oh, was it Zoocyte or Malachite? Was like. Tuxedo Mask, he's not even here. And then Darian was there, and he goes, I am Tuxedo Mask. And she goes, He is Tuxedo Mask, I don't believe it. <laughs> That clip was floating around for a while on Tumblr. And it was a riot. Oh my gosh, I had such a crush on... Do you remember Anne and Alan? Oh my god, they were like these like weird, sexy elves. And he was blue and she was pink. And they had like the doom tree. And they needed to like suck energy from people to like keep the tree going, I think. Oh, 
and he would like play his flute. Oh my gosh, I still remember it. It goes do 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 And then like Anne had a crush on Darian. Oh my gosh, I just remembered the episode where like there was like a play, they were like doing Snow White. And Anne was so thirsty for a kiss from Darian. And she like sabotaged all the girls because she wanted to be Snow White. And they did this weird like game with the straws, remember? <gasps> oh my gosh. And then he went to give her a smooch like in rehearsals and she like grabbed him and like hauled him down. And he was like, bitch, we're in rehearsals and also you're supposed to be asleep. Why are you grabbing me? <laughs> and she was like, oh, sorry, I guess we'll have to do it again. Ben was a snake. I have no, to I have no tolerance for snakes. She was a snake, a sneaky snake. This light blue. Ah, oh, crap. I'm really bad at doing circles, so I just traced a little uh, circular washi tape I have. Ooh, I wonder if clouds would look nice. Let's see what the light box on. And then in the later seasons, um, there was like the Amazon Quartet. They were so cool. The Amazon Quartet was each like so, each of the girls were so cool that I actually couldn't decide on a favorite. Usually I can decide, but yeah, they were cool. I actually, I don't, I didn't like the main chick, the red chick, but I like the green chick and the pink chick and the blue chick. It was like para para sale sale vest vest Yeah, they were cool. And they had this cool theme song. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just remembered. Deep in my heart love so strong. Wait, no. Deep in my soul, the love so strong, takes control. Oh my gosh, guys, look up that song. It's so good. What's it called? There will come a day. My only love. That's what it's called. Oh my gosh. My only love. I think that was on when she was like transforming into like Serenity for the first time. Is it Serenity? Mars was cool because she's like so feisty all the time. And Jupiter was cool because she seemed like she was really feisty and she was and she was a total badass. But then she had like this soft, like domestic feminine side underneath. And she was a great cook and she was such a good friend. They're all great, let's be real. I did have a crush on uh, Uranus though. Ooh. When she came into it. Oh. She was like riding her motorcycle. <laughs> In the dub, she like almost hit Sailor Jupiter and Serena. And she was like, should I call an ambulance? <laughs> and Sailor Moon was like, call my lawyer. All these moments are so pure, you guys. Like, I hope I hope listening to me like reminds you of the awesome, hilarious, bad '90s dub. I'm sure when I like stop recording, I'm gonna think of like loads of other awesome Sailor Moon stuff. Oh, should I add this little wharf 
the angle like looks a bit weird to me. Actually, the paper is getting a little bit buckly, so I'm just going to set this aside for now. Um, sorry guys, I'm just grabbing some ink. This is the Yasutomo Sumi ink. I've been using this stuff since high school, which is, what, 15 years ago. I don't, I, once I find something that I like and it works, I just, I don't like experimenting with other stuff. Okay, so, oh, actually I'll be right back. Okay, still recording. This is an old um, sketch I had in my cabinet, my paper cabinet. It's just kind of weird, but um, it's like this weird long lady with like crap, like flowers and blood coming out of her body. But I've been on kind of a surreal kick recently, so let's try to ink her. It was a great episode that like touched me a lot. Um, it was when they were after the pure heart crystals, and Amy was like having a bit of a crisis because she thought like all she was good at was studying, and she didn't know where her life was going, and she didn't know if she wanted to be a doctor. Oh, sorry guys, this is the, this, um, what is this? Crap, um, this might be the Fabriano actually, the Fabriano Soft Press. Crap, I think it is. Um, yeah, Fabriano 300 pound Soft Press. Um, I used this years ago and I remember liking it, but then I could like never find it again in my local art store, so I just kind of forgot about it, but I recently saw it again, so. This paper is quite thick, it's like cardboard, so... Crap, what was I talking about? Yeah, so Amy was having a, like a crisis because she was like, Oh my gosh, what do I want to do? Like, all I'm good at is studying. And then Serena like, misinterprets her stress. As like, she's just worried about studying. And they're like meeting up to study at like one of one of the girls' house. And she's like, here you go, Amy, now you can just study day and night. And then she likes Amy like starts to cry and she's like, I left something at my house. I have to go now. And it's like so sad and she just like turns her head smiling, but like you can see the tears glinting in her eyes. Um I think by the end of the episode Oh, and then she has like a race at the pool with Sailor Neptune. Very cool. She ra- oh right! She raced- sorry. She raced Sailor Neptune first, but she like, copped out on herself for some reason. This was like when she was still having her crisis. And Sailor Neptune was like, why did you feel like you had to slow down? Were you afraid of hurting my ego? And then Amy's like, oh, so, sorry, I didn't. And then she's like, feels even worse about herself because she's like, I can't even swim with spirit. I have such a good memory for audio, you guys. Like, you have no idea. Like, I remember all these episodes audio. Um, well, not all, but like the, the, the poignant ones. Um, 
But then later she races Sailor Neptune again and they tie. And she's and Sailor Neptune like walks out like a boss bitch and she's like, I enjoyed the race. We'll have to do it again. And then her and Uranus like disappear and that sexy saxophone music plays. <laughs> I love the mu the music in Sailor Moon. Okay. Um I'm not liking how I'm not liking how this paper is taking these lines. And that's not an excuse. Like, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep working on it anyway. Alright guys, are you ready? I'm gonna do this long ass line. So, when I get ready to do a long line like this, I like pick the spot I'm gonna start and like get a good angle on it. And I keep my hand on the paper. Tidy it up a little bit. And then some niggaverse bitch tries to like steal her pure heart and then Sailor Moon saves her. And she's like, she has what it takes to be a great doctor. She's my special friend. I didn't like Chibiusa, aka Rainy. Oh my gosh, remember in the later seasons when Pegasus was in it? He was cool, he was sexy. Oh my god, was he like 14 years old? Probably, you can never tell in anime. I th <laughs> in my mind he's like 30, but he, he could definitely be like 14. I'll have to, I'll have to Wikipedia this when I'm done. I'm not liking this paper, you guys. This is the Fa I think it's the Fabriano. Maybe I can like switch it for another paper. Um. No, uh, let me see something. Yeah, I think this might be the Fabriano. Soft press? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try it on the um, Stonehenge 140 Cold and see if uh, that's better. It's also much easier to see, which is nice. Sometimes I'll adjust the sketch before I start in. Just on the back to like help myself and give myself a little guide. This lo-fi is Campfire Lo-Fi Jazz Hop Chill Mix from the Jazz Hop Cafe. Shout out to them. Please don't copyright me. Yeah, that's much better. Oh my god, the Sailor Moon villains were hysterical. I don't know who came up with them. But I'm sure the friggin' designers had a field day. Oh, what am I saying? It was the author. Is it Naoko Takeuchi? Could be wrong. 
Sailor Moon Creator. Now go Takeuchi. An image like this is good too because you could kind of do any color you wanted with it. And then play it off like, well, it's just, it's surreal, it's stylish. Oh my gosh, in the... English version? Sailor Uranus and Neptune were cousins, as you guys know, but <laughs> I love how often they mention it. <laughs> They're like, are you really going to abandon your cousin? And then they e entered a friggin', I forget why, but they entered some kind of like couples <laughs> contest. <laughs> and the dub was like, why is she entering that with her cousin? <laughs> Was there any Sailor Moon Sailor Moon moments that made you guys cry? Please put it in the comments below. There was one part that like sticks in my mind, but I have no idea what context it was from. It was one of the earlier seasons, but basically Darian had to be like he had to kind of be mean to Serena for her own good. Like he like couldn't allow himself to get close to her because he was there was like danger happening and he was like mean to her and he was like I don't I he's like I don't want to be with you like and then she was like so hurt and confused and I just remember this one part in the dub and she was like I don't care if the whole world collapses just as long as we're together. And she was like waiting outside his door, like, but he wouldn't let her in. <laughs> that was really sad. Also, there was one episode, it was like some kind of like festival. And Ray, like, she wrote all this music. And we're back. Oh, that was, that was another good song that Sailor Mars wrote. It was called Oh Starry Night in the dub. Oh starry night Is he my own true love? Something like that. Blanking, what's more Sailor Moon stuff? Who had the coolest transformation sequence in your guys' opinion? They even blurred out the friggin' cleavage in, in the English version and the butt cleavage. Like, guys, this is such a... I feel a, like a positive female role model, so like, come on guys. Um, yeah, 
So you can see that this line is a bit lighter. Um, I mixed it with a little bit of brownish watercolor I had sitting there. Um, another great thing about Sumi ink is you can mix it with water or watercolor and uh, lighten it and use it. Huh. <laughs> I just remembered, oh my gosh, this was so early in the series, but they were after the rainbow crystals. And there's this dude who had a crush on Sailor Mercury. I think it's, I think they called him Greg <laughs> in the English version. But so a site was like, you should join us because you're so smart. You should join the Negaverse. And he's like, never! <laughs> oh my gosh. After this, I'm going to go on YouTube and type in like Sailor Moon 90s dub compilation and see if there's like an awesome voice acting compilation. <laughs> on the side. This one is a bit spicy. Uh, it's like a creepy mermaid lady and she's um, captured a swimmer and it's weirdly horny. Did Zoocyte say Zoi? in the Japanese version. I know Zoocyte was actually a dude in the Japanese version, but I just I, I just have Zoocyte in my head going ZOI and like flicking her crystal. to like give her these weird extra eyes. Or make it a bit more simple. A lot of my works have featured water lately. So I love this one is Venomous Bite. The girl has a very simplified face because I ain't doing a complicated, detailed face from this angle because I know I'll screw it up. <laughs> Molly said, Molly was hanging out with Netflix and she said, Do you have any holidays in that evil society of yours? <laughs> oh my god, did I just ruin this? Might be salvageable.
hopefully because the face is going to be upside down like that, it won't be too noticeable if I screw up painting it a little bit. I'm also going to try to color this one like properly and take my time with it um, instead of like doing it all in a monotone. Extending the tongue so it looks like she's licking the chest. Very spicy. Also terrified to draw this hand because I know how I want it to look kind of like draped over like that but I'm scared to draw it very scary there was one episode that I always remember it was like pretty early but it was about Serena's brother Sammy and he had like a little crush on this girl who like made dolls. And she like made him a doll, but he like didn't want to accept it in front of his friends because I like he thought it would make him look uncool or something. So he's like, I don't want it. And he sh like shoved the doll and it like broke and it was so sad. And then some like Negaverse doll monster happened because like her dolls got imbued with dark energy. Oh, that's right She became like a recluse the little girl and she was like just making doll after doll. I think that's what happened And in the end they made up and she gave him a little Sailor Moon figurine that she made If you made it this far, comment down below with your favorite Sailor Scout and why. This is uh, very interesting and vital information for me. I think, yeah, I, th I do think I'm tied with Sailor Jupiter and Uranus just because they're badass and cool. But I relate most to Sailor Moon because I'm a big uh, crybaby who loves to eat. I think in the Japanese version he called it Dumpling Head. And then in the English version, it was meatball head. Which is pretty funny. And I remember one episode, Darian was like dying. And he was like, Serena. And she was like, you, you can call me meatball head. Also, comment with the weirdest Negaverse monster that you remember. <laughs> or like evil monster you can remember. I think there was one that was like a vacuum. There was one that was like a balloon. Like an evil balloon. <laughs> Pretty out there. <sighs> oh 
Okay, I think I'll hang it up there for today, guys. Uh, I am excited to finish this one, though. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on Kelly's Corner.